big boy. So, here we go. Quick recap. Turn, uh, turn two for the Allies, their first move. And let's start down in the south. We had uh, a little reorganization here. Finally remembered to use breakdown units and that allowed us to build somewhat of a line and reinforce parts of this line here. And I'm doing that because I really am trying to pull as many forces up towards this breakout at Sedan. Uh, the cavalry, this is the third cav, has done a great job uh, holding the line here. There have been no attacks by the German divisions here. And we conducted a counterattack and killed a, a uh, uh, just an artillery piece. But, you know, token victory, and we're putting a little bit of pressure on this massive uh, strap moving line of German units that is forging forward across the, route, the Meuse River here, and now looking to uh, identify how they're gonna break out of this uh, uh, scrambled hodgepodge packet of uh, French forces. We have the second armored uh, units are in here. The third armor is sitting back in uh, somewhat of a split uh, reserve and filling some gaps. I've got first armor here, primarily so that uh, I'm not really sure whether they might be needed north. I, I doubt it, but uh, and they may be needed in the Ardennes if the uh, the northern Ardennes area if the line of attack changes suddenly because this bogs down or something like that. Also got uh, some other, uh, the third, oh, that's just a headquarters unit, a, uh, a marker. So we've, we've got some forces here reinforcing. We're strap moving uh, as much as we can within the limits of the optional rule. We have a breakthrough at the fortress here. Uh, one of these fortresses here, which is right near Liege. This is Liege, which is in reserve for next turn. We've reinforced that as best we can. We've actually got some Germans quite close there. And the 7th Panzer is pushing here. Uh, so I've uh, brought uh, the 1st Motorized French uh, Armored Division down the highway, and they're uh, spreading themselves along the weaker Belgian units, kind of as a, a blocking mechanism while we begin to build the second line. Now, I did look at the victory conditions, and I don't see a real reason why I would want to use any of my British units, and I wouldn't want to just dash back here, back towards Paris, build a nice defensive line somewhere, and then scoot them off the, the Paris south edge of the board when the time is right. Mm. Primarily because, from what I, I've read, as long as I hold Verdun and Metz, which I intend keeping enough forces down here to do that, and we have reinforcements coming, I can afford to lose the Netherlands, Belgium, and the ports if I don't uh, receive a mauling uh, uh, on the uh, on the British. So obviously I have to keep Paris, and that would end us up in a net draw, which would be a historical uh, result for the uh, for the game and for the situation. Excuse me. So, so that's what's going on here, and that's the current situation, but I, I decided I, I want to try and, you know, slow this, uh, this uh, push that's happened and, and that's coming. There are two, there's a motorized uh, division and two panzer divisions here. There's a SS division here and another panzer division there. And there's one panzer division right down there. Uh, Interestingly enough, I believe that based on where the units currently are, the entire Netherlands is out of supply. But they surrendered uh, on the 12th of May. And I should say, I think I told you it's the second turn, the 12th of May. So um, <coughs> we're going to uh, try and reinforce Antwerp. We're bringing some uh, British forces a little bit further forward, but not too far. And I'm starting to bleed off some of the nicer artillery units and we'll drop them back here a little ways. So that's kind of the deal. Uh, it's a pretty fun game. It's taking quite a while to play solo. And uh, of course, me stopping to ramble on doesn't help the, uh, 
healthy exercise in terms of uh, time usage. But what has been cool is being able to build this, you know, in the Ardennes, build this screening force, then drop some breakdown units here along the Meuse and have a, a nice reserve here. Uh, we're starting to build up a line uh, along this uh, D-I-J-L-E, this uh, Dijel River. And uh, we'll see if we can uh, hold them from Namur to Antwerp, uh, Antwerp uh, and see what happens. Anyway, it's fun stuff. Good, lots of interesting little puzzles and challenges to solve. And we'll uh, uh, head on to turn three.